What's going on guys? Danny, Lanier Lawn Care. Today, I'm gonna go over and give you my review of Echo SRM 280T String Trimmer. All right guys, so this is gonna be a code startup. Now, the one thing that confused me from going to a 2620 uh, to the 280 was that the prime is on the bottom, not on the back. Really confused me and still to this day, I still get confused over that. So we're gonna prime this. This is gonna be a code start here. So you prime it, turn your choke on, make sure you're on run. We should pull it two to three times and it should turn over. Warm up a second and go to town. guys I know what you're thinking what about the tall stuff right well we brought you out here and now we're gonna show you how it does in the tall stuff and thick and wet so let's get going
does pretty good guys what's your thoughts and opinions so there's a couple things i want to go over about this this you're running a high capacity speed feed on 17 inch swath 28.1 cc engine 21.1 ounce fuel tank the thing's awesome guys toolless air filter to get to just absolutely since i've since i picked this up i have totally quit using my 2620t now i still love my 2620t but when it comes to power and just having the overall power there when i need it i'll pick up the 280t all day every day now a lot of people is going to ask the question of what's the difference between the 2620t and the 280t well let's tell you the 2620t is still going to come with a 17 inch swath but you're not going to have the high capacity speed feed you're just going to get the regular speed feed on it another thing the handle is going to be the same they're both going to have the four layer cable on the inside no difference there but then you're pumping 28.1 cc engine compared to a 25.4 cc engine now the fuel tank on the 2620 t is only 21 ounces now that 0.1 does it really make a difference probably not but it's still a little bigger <clears throat> now one thing i noticed between the two is they both use about the same amount of gas if not this one i would say probably gets a little bit better gas compared to the 2620t when it comes to overall power though guys you're looking at a price tag 399.99 for this one and for the 2620t you're looking at 359.99 is it worth the extra 40 diff 40 dollar difference to go to the 28 cc in my personal opinion it's a no-brainer definitely step up your game get the 28.1 cc engine when you're talking about weight of them the weight of this one is 13.5 pounds with the guard on the weight of the 2620t is 12.5 pounds with the guard on is that one pound going to make a difference well that's up to you decide figure out which one you want and go buy it